so it's currently 2.16 in the morning, and I really don't feel like going to bed just yet, but I really need to. <laughs> Reason I'm making the video, though, is because I saw a vlog today done by Casey Neistat that was really, really good. Um, it was talking about college, and I thought that was cool because, you know, that applies to me a lot because I'm a senior in high school, so college, admissions, and all that kind of stuff is really right up my alley. I also want to go to business school, so... I do want to go to college, so anything related to college I like to read about or, you know, listen to or... Anyway, I think you get the point. But there was something off about the vlog that kind of irritated me a little bit. And what it was, it was just one thing that Casey said. Um, everything else in the vlog was fine, I love the vlog. But the one thing that he said that didn't make me mad but just rubbed me the wrong way was one of the, re one of the things he said about college. Um, in terms of like going to college. He said three things I remember towards the end of the vlog. Go to, go to college if you know what you wanna do and it requires a professional degree. Don't go to college if what you wanna do doesn't require a degree and go to college if you have absolutely no idea what you wanna do. It was the second one that really kinda messed with me. You see, I come from a background that says like college is the way to go. My dad was the first one to go to college in my family. My mom, I think was the same way and both of them have professional careers. Well, my dad's retired now, but both of them had professional careers. And the way I see it, it's not just from my upbringing, but it's just the way I see the world that college really is the best thing to do, no matter whether you know what you wanna do or you know exactly what you wanna do, but you're not sure exactly how to get into that kind of business. Which brings me to why I'm making this video. You see, when Casey, when Casey said that, I was just thinking to myself, well, if you know what you wanna do and it doesn't require a college degree, what if something comes up and you want to go farther with what you want to do, but you don't have the means or the know-how to do it? That's why I think college is really, really nice. You see, if you go to college, you meet a lot of different people. Um, you know, all of them have different wants, different backgrounds, you know, different desires. I think you get the point. Later down the road, you know, everyone's doing different things. I mean, the people from your college many of them you won't even ever see again. But there are the select few that you were friends with and may or may not have kept in touch with. A lot of times in the professional world, people want to create something. If the only problem with it is the person who wants to create it doesn't have the know-how or means to do it. So say somebody wants to start a tech company and they have absolutely no idea how to do the business portion of it. Maybe they know the tech and they know the coding, but they have no idea how to manage it, how corporate stuff works or anything like that. So he finds this mystery person and he says, listen, I want to start a company. I don't know how, but I have the product worked out. And maybe the businessman says, hey, that sounds like a great idea. This is a good investment and I'll work with you on it. They become business partners and then the company is born. And I think you guys are probably picking up on this is exactly what I'm talking about with Casey. Although I don't know if Casey knew how to do all the coding stuff. I think he just had the idea for the company. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember off the top of my head. You see, that's the thing about Casey, though. And if Casey, if you're watching this, I'm flattered. Um, but I'd like it if you listen to this because this might give you a different insight or, you know, thought process of how to think about this. Casey's got a lot of connections to people. And I'm guessing it's from his ties to Hollywood films when he did cinema um, before he started doing YouTube. And along the way, he's met many people through film offers and stuff like that, you know, and, and there's plenty of people in that industry that I'm sure he's met. But he does have more connections than the average person would. If you were an associate working at a restaurant or a firm or whatever the case may be, and you wanted to become the general manager, that was your goal, that was your priority, that's what you wanted to do, you would work through the ranks from associate to maybe a little bit higher up, whatever that you know job name may be, to assistant manager, to general manager. There's only one problem though with you know getting to that general manager position. Once you're there and you're like the top dog, you're making money, but the thing is, what if you want to do something else? At least with a college degree and when you get some kind of college degree, that piece of paper that says I'm smart, the degree, you know, that's applicable for a lot of things. You know, you put that on, you know, what, whatever the job website is, the main one, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But employers on that, that are going through that website looking for someone that might be worth their time, you know, they see somebody with a college degree, all of a sudden they're like, wait a minute, this guy has a work ethic. This guy can, you know, get a job done. And that's really what co a college degree symbolizes. Now granted, you could call me complete bullshit and because I'm not even in college, but I'm just going off of what I've read and you know what I've seen. So not only if you have a college degree, not only do you have a few more outlets to go to, I mean, yes, if you're a general manager and you quit, you can write on your resume, was a general manager of this place. Yes, that does show work ethic, 
but it's I my personal opinion. And if I was an employer, I would much rather you know hire the guy that maybe has a little bit of work experience and then has a college degree than just the person who has work experience. I think education needs to be in there somewhere. And like I said, I keep going back to Casey. You know, Casey is kind of the exception to the rule. He dropped out of high school. He didn't go to college, but he's had plenty of film offers. You know, he's done tons and tons of work in the film industry. And then he also has a YouTube channel that he lives off of. And then he also has his tech company that he runs. It's a very inspiring story, but the only problem is I just don't see many other people doing that. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people that watch his videos might have I guess aspirations to do the same kind of thing that he did. Now I'm not trying to discourage people. Oh no, no. I tell people do whatever the hell they want. I'm just saying in terms of being wise, doing something that makes more logical sense. Yes, taking risks is a great idea, but the problem is there's so many cases of following your dreams sometimes not always working out. Yes, you can follow your dreams, but it's good to get the educational background in it so it's much easier to accomplish. There is absolutely no reason to not go to college if you can afford it. So if you are one of those people that has the kind of income or has the means to go to college and has gotten accepted or maybe you're in my position where you've applied to colleges and you're waiting to hear back, it is worth going to college if you can. Yes, working is great. Yes, work experience is fantastic. Companies love work experience. I mean, my mother's friend interviews a lot of people for um, job positions. The only problem is half the job applications that hit his desk, the people are so incredibly overqualified, he just looks for people with work experience. So yes, you could use that to back up the argument, if you know what you want to do, skip college, go do it. But at the same time you look at it, if you could have gone to college, what other opportunities could you have had? And I'm sure Casey wouldn't tell me I'm wrong on this, but you know, Casey's life, he's talked about on a TED talk, you know, he's always tried to take as many opportunities as possible. But if I had the opportunity to go to college and say, in my case, my parents, you know, had a trust fund since I was a little baby, and I have like $38,000 worth of in-state paid tuition already from Maryland. You know, I'm gonna go to college because, you know, my parents spent that money. I mean, I'm not just gonna try and withdraw that money and buy something. That's a complete waste of their money. They saved that money for me to go to college. It'd be stupid for me if I got into college to not take that opportunity because I could meet many cool people. I could find people that could be future business partners. I could get involved with companies that I'd like to work for, but I would never have been able to contact if I hadn't gone to college. There's so many things and the world kind of revolves around the statement. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And that's a big thing because if you go to college and you meet some guy that eventually is a billionaire, what if he hires you, you know, to manage something of his because he knew that you had a background in finance. So he wanted you to be his accountant. All of a sudden you're getting paid buku bucks to manage some guy's paycheck account just because he knew you in college. He could have hired any Joe Schmo, but he picked you because he knew you. So end thoughts wise, if you know exactly what you want to do in life, I mean, yeah, go ahead, pursue it. I mean, if you have a means of doing it and you know, I guess have a game plan, yeah, go do it. I mean, college may, might not be for you. For a lot of people, it isn't for everyone. I have a friend of mine who's a big car guy, went to college, hated it, and he's doing just fine now. Anyway, that's just my take on the idea of going to college. I mean, if you can afford it and if you know what you want to do, even if it doesn't require a college degree, so to speak, it would be worth going to college if you have that opportunity. You can do whatever you want in college, okay? You go there, yes, you're paying for it, and yes, you should make the most out of it, but you can do whatever you want. So say you find some interest in college that you really like, and you get together with a bunch of friends, and they say, we're gonna start this tech company, we're gonna drop out of college. If you have faith in that, run with it. And yes, that's going against what I, or what I already said, which was get a college degree so you look good for other employers. However, you've still met people that you wouldn't have met if you hadn't gone to college. You wouldn't have run into all these Joe Schmoes that are trying to start a company up on the side of the street or at Starbucks. You only would have met them in college. You could take the time to go to college. You know, I mean, if you can maybe put your quote unquote dreams on hold, maybe make them something a little bit bigger, you know, it might just be worth your wait to go to college. Who knows, you might meet somebody that will completely change the way you look at life or completely change what you want to do. And it might be better than what you originally thought of. I know that there's a lot of things that I did by accident that I ended up enjoying. So that's my take on this whole deal. Um, Casey, if you see this, like I said before, I'm flattered. I think that's really cool. Um, I hope what I said made a little bit of sense. Now, I'm not trying to co be condescending or anything like that. I was just giving you my opinion on the idea and the rest of the world on my opinion because I like to voice my opinion on things. And a lot of people will probably get mad at me for saying that, especially in school, because I have a bit of a big mouth. Maybe I get a whole bunch of hate for this. Maybe you actually hate this video. 
if you could, I'd appreciate it if you let me know because at least that way, you know, someone's watching my video and you know, somebody took the time to actually listen to what I have to say, which is invaluable. So thank you guys for watching. I really, really, really should go to bed now, but I first got to edit this. I'll see you guys later.